Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel Big Elevens. Today we are still moving on on resources and today we are going to look at coal as a resource. Which coal is a fossil fuel that is formed deep underneath underground. So it is a non-renewable resource. It is formed in so when you say it's a fossil fuel, we are saying that plants remains accumulated deep underground and they are deposited. And then they cement and compress themselves underground there. So they form this fossil fuel called coal. That's why coal is called a seam because it has got different layers within it. It is made up of different materials. It is a non renewable resource, meaning that it can be used up quickly and be depleted. And it is easily available across South Africa and therefore the cheapest method to generate electricity. I'm sure you're all aware that most of our electricity comes from coal. So this is the coal that we are talking about. This is the coal. If we check closely, you're going to see that it has layers within it. That's why it is a fossil fuel. So this is a general picture of coal. Now, coal, how is it extracted? We said it is formed deep underground. So it is formed by what we call open cast mining, where we dig holes underground there and we extract the coal from the seams. So coal, so we always use open cast mining. Why? Because coal is close to the surface. So the top layer of rock and soil is removed. So coal is blasted to loosen the rock. And we have the drag lines and tracks that remove the coal to a crusher. So this is open cast mining. You are going to see that this method of extraction will have some disadvantages, especially on our environment, because we are digging a hole underground there. Yeah. Two, coal can also be um, extracted from underground by what we call shaft mining, is when we dig deep, deep underground using vertical shafts. To work underground so horizontal tunnels are built from the shaft to the coal seam the coal seam is blasted underground to loosen the rock and then we extract the material so this is how or the machinery that we use to go underground for the miners to extract the coal deep underground So what are the uses of coal? Coal is used for a variety of things and the first thing we are going to mainly concentrate on is generation of electricity. How does coal generate electricity? Coal is crushed into and is burnt to boil water. So it is crushed and it is used, burnt to boil water. And the steam, the water, you know that when water is boiled it becomes steam. It is the steam that drives the turbines to create mechanical energy. And it is the mechanical energy that causes rotation of the rotors. Electrical current is created and that is passed to a transformer. From the transformer, it is moved to the national power grid. The steam is condensed into liquid and is stored in the cooling towers. So water is therefore resold back to the boiler. So it generates electricity for us. So that's how it generates electricity for... So... What I was explaining on generation of electricity is highlighted by this diagram. We have the pulverized coal. The pulverized coal, pulverized coal is a coal that is crushed. And it is the one that is going to boil the water there within the boiler. And as the water is boiled, we can see that the steam will get into the turbines there. And it will generate electricity for us. That's the electricity that we use. And for South Africa, it is very cheap to use um, electricity from coal because coal is in a abundance. Yeah. Now we want to look at coal and its impacts on the environment. Like I said, open cast mining causes a lot of impact on the environment. Coal causes a lot of impact on the environment because when we dig a hole underground, it will lead to soil ero erosion and destruction of the ecosystems. Because one, for us to be able to dig that hole, we must clear the land so we disrupt ecosystems. And when we clear the land, already we are losing the soil to soil erosion. And usually, even if the coal depletes, restor environmental restorations are never successful. 
as the drainage pattern, soil and habitats have been destroyed. Dumping of rocks has also led to land degradation. Does coal, we know that also it causes a lot of air pollution, it releases methane and other chemicals which end up into rivers and causing acid rain. And remember methane is a greenhouse gas, so it also leads to global warming. And also the processes of extraction of this coal will cause noise pollution. Other impacts of coal on the environment is that, as I said, we talked about pollution, the dust particles and the coal ash can also cause respiratory problems like lung diseases and asthma infections or respiratory problems for other people. Water resources can also get polluted. Toxic chemicals cause acid rain and they damage the environment. We know that with acid rain, it can corrode some metals in some buildings. It also destroys crop production and vegetation. Releasing of methane, as I said, will lead to climate change because methane is a greenhouse gas. So you find that extraction of coal mining causes a lot of air pollution and a lot of air pollution on a large scale a lot of noise pollution that affects people it also causes erosion and land degradation especially open cast mining so here guys you'll see that coal is an important resource for us but then it has so many impacts on our environment impacts on our environment and you'll find that this will now change in future so use of coal falls under non-conventional energy sources these are what we call non-conventional energy sources we electricity has been generating using these fossil fuels but now you know that we have to talk about sustainability issues You've, because of the disadvantages that i've highlighted today in future boys and girls we need to be sustainable and we need to go use more cleaner fuels in our atmosphere those who are just joining my channel welcome to my channel but for now i have to say goodbye on call and those who are new subscribe to my channel look for, and i'll be giving you more and more videos and activities to help you revise your grade 11. right for now i'll say goodbye don't forget to subscribe and share bye